Hey guys, I'm back from uh, vacation and I wanted to follow up with my last uh, week's training on using Cloud HQ inside Gmail, inside the Chrome browser. It was awesome and I actually just started using two more and they are, one is create Gmails from Google Docs and it's almost like creating a template because it, it's just awesome. It's gonna save you a lot of time. I'm gonna show you that. And number two is screen capture. So from any, any tab, any window that you're at on using the Chrome browser, you can actually take a screenshot and annotate that and then boom, send it right into uh, a Gmail. So that's what we're gonna go over in just a second. Okay, so here's my Gmail again, and if you remember from last week, you'll see that I have some Cloud HQ features already installed. And when you click on this right up here, you'll be able to see some of the ones I have installed. But you can always go to the dashboard and see all of the available Cloud HQ plugins. Okay, so you can install them straight from here and it'll take you right to the Chrome store. But if you haven't installed anything yet, you can just go over here to the apps on your Chrome browser. And then you can go here to the web store. And then from here you can just search Cloud HQ, Cloud HQ, and you can see these. And then you can actually go here to more extensions or you can simply search Google Docs, which is the first one, and you can find it here. You can see I've already added it. Convert Google Docs to Gmail, and you can install it. And then the other one we're going to do today is Cloud HQ Screenshot or screen capture but you see I've already had this installed you can click here and read more about it and then just add it to the Chrome there so that is how you get them installed anyways let's go ahead and go back to my Gmail and here's my inbox so for the G Suite, I've got all my apps right over here. So I can go and uh, for the first one, we're going to go to the convert Google Docs to Gmail. So this one is just awesome. So you're going to go here to Docs. Let's just say I'm going to choose a template newsletter I want to send out. So it's already formatted, everything is there. This template, you can fill it out, um, modify it how you want, and then you're simply gonna go up here and open in Gmail. It's converting. And here you have it. It is there, all optimized and everything for you. So you can go up here to this and you can go to full screen pop out and you can send it out just like that. So like I said, that's another way other than Mail King or the email campaign where you can have templates. So there's several ways of doing it. This is just a quick way to send a nice looking flyer or newsletter to someone. So let me discard this draft. The next one is this. And right up here I have this Gmail screenshot installed. So I click there. And it actually opens up a new tab for you. So let's say I just want to annotate this. I'm going to show you guys how to... I want to show you where to find something on my Gmail interface. So there it brings it up. I could draw an arrow. And you can of course go in and change the color. You could add some text here, and when you're all done, you just literally click done, and it will convert it. And you can copy 
this link right here and now what I'm going to do is just compose a new email send it to myself call it test and then just paste this screenshot right here and then the person on the other end will be able to click on this link and open up that um, annotated screenshot another way you can do is instead of just composing and putting a link into the email you can just save the image and add it as a photo so it'll be right there front and center in the email so how you would do that is just go back to gmail screenshot let's choose a another website let's just say we want to screenshot this So I'm going to drag this, I'm going to do an arrow, and let's say I want to change the color to something more, Oop. reset, here's my arrow, here's my text, move this up here, and now I can go done. Now I can actually just right click, save this image. Let's just save it to the desktop so I can show you what I'm talking about. Compose, you can attach the file or you can insert photo. Upload, choose photos, boom, find it and insert it. So you can actually insert it right into the email. So that is it. So just a quick recap. Once you install the um, Cloud HQ, any of the Cloud HQ apps from last week, you can have it right here in your Gmail. If you have not installed anything yet, you just go up here to Apps, Web Store, and you can search for any Cloud HQ. If you cannot remember what they were called, just search Cloud HQ find a few of them here but you can always go to more extensions and then find everything from Cloud HQ here install it and voila there you go well there you have it um, hope you enjoyed these two uh, new features in Cloud HQ how I'm up up in my Gmail game uh, till next time have a good week